The average person has changed the way they think about storage for a few reasons. I think it's pretty ubiquitous, even for people who are not computer intensive. They take digital pictures, they uh, use GPS navigation systems. When they look at a uh, television program now, there's storage involved in that. This is the, uh, the era of the uh, connected consumer. There's definitely an explosive growth in, uh, in data, and that, that explosive growth creates anxiety both for the uh, people sharing the data and the people collecting the data. I think right now is a pivotal time in terms of storage, uh, especially when you look at the advent of YouTube. In two years, three years, it's gone to 600 terabytes of storage. When I took a year off from college and worked for a, a computer startup, the company was very advanced at the time. It had a total of two gigabytes of hard disk storage space, and that took up a whole room. Now, of course, two gigabytes is half of what this DVD can hold. So the advent of video, audio files, and people's need and want for rich media content are continuing to drive more and more storage requirements. What we determined is that if you put that information that is produced every year in a single book, the book would be uh, wide enough to reach halfway from here to Saturn. And of course, it's continuing to accelerate. Managing our storage requirements is sometimes like sitting on a volcano. The, the growth is unpredictable, um, and when it happens, you have to be able to respond to it. What's at stake is, is only your most precious asset, your company's information. If you lose control of your information in today's environment, you lose control of your business. All good decisions are based on good information. If you're not providing good information to the business, the decision making will become suspect. It also can have costs in terms of things that go wrong, embarrassing data losses, theft of data, uh, problems with compliance, and we've had uh, cases involving more than a billion dollars because a company couldn't uh, recover all of its email messages. So putting in the right infrastructure up front is critical in order to be able to meet the growing needs both from a information, a retention, and an availability perspective. The line between storage, server, software, and services comes together for, for uh, consumers of these products. You cannot effectively implement a, an infrastructure solution without all four of those components being in place. People who are users of information technology want to know how can they get strategic advantage out of the way they use information. IBM has taken a full approach looking at the servers, the storage, the software required, as well as the services to pull it all together because IBM has come at it from a complete view of being able to make the storage secure, make it highly available, make it redundant, and have it up 24 by 7 to meet today's requirements. IBM demonstrates leadership because they're out in front on all the new technologies that, are, that we have as a, as a consumer of their product haven't even heard about. Um, every time we embark down a path that we're not familiar with, IBM's already been there for years.